Empire State Building was open again. Business as usual, in fact. When Marshal Petain entered the court on the second day of his trial, he gave no signs of sharing the excitement which prevailed there. One of the chief witnesses on this occasion was Paul Renault, Premier of France during some of the blackest days in her long history. Few of us will have forgotten the dramatic incidents of that time. Most of us have read a lot of the evidence he gave today as he bore witness to the attitude and the acts of the aged Marshal as he spoke of his own imprisonment and of the death of Mondel. The atmosphere of the court was charged with all the violence of conflicting opinion throughout the trial. The climax was reached towards its closing stage when the most hated man in France was brought from prison to give evidence, Pierre Laval. Compared with the Laval of pre-war days, he was barely recognizable, but it was certainly the same crafty Laval. He was only recently brought from Spain, and although his evidence was mainly a defense of his own actions, it seemed to shake Petain somewhat, as you see. Such were some of the most dramatic scenes in one of the most amazing trials ever held. This trial involved every surviving Frenchman of political eminence or notoriety. There remained the summing up, the anonymous threats against judge and jury, and the verdict on Philippe Petain. Movie Tone flew out to meet the Queen Mary 